So in this final video here, I'm just going to kind of clean up some little small details that might be misplaced. So what I've done here is I've actually adjusted the color a little bit in between videos just to try to get a little bit more of a consistent tone. But I've had this kind of extra kind of line painted here on the arm and I just kind of want to paint it back. So we don't want to be afraid to be able to kind of paint these details out even at this late stage in the game. So I'm going to kind of just refine it and pull it back so it's not so bold. And I'm going to just give it a little bit of a detail using some of the colors that we picked from the areas. And really I'm just trying to clean it up, just give it a little bit more of a consistent look. And really this is our final step in our video. We want to just make sure that any remaining kind of blocky, kind of chunky pieces, we don't really leave. You know, Think about it that the beginning is very fast and we're moving very quickly, we're putting down a lot of shapes. But at the end of the project here, what we really are concentrating on is just cleaning up and, and sharpening all these little lines because these are the things that are going to stand out to people the most in our in our work. So think about it in the way that every little detail at this point, it's going to take a very long time, but the end results will be dramatically different if we take the time to actually focus in, kind of refine these little different elements. So I'm just kind of taking an overview, seeing if there's any other little elements that I might want to just check and kind of clean up. So any kind of odd lines or kind of sloppiness. So the outside of this arm here specifically is really kind of just slopped up a little bit. So I kind of want to come in and just kind of pull it back and just tighten up my lines. So don't be afraid, especially later in the process, to come in here and, and really get rid of all this little bit of extra overshoot. Again, trying to pay attention to a little bit of silhouette changes, especially in mechanical stuff. The, the better you can make this stuff look, the more convincing you can sell it as being mechanical and not organic and kind of sloppy. So take everything you've learned from all these videos and really just apply it. Think about it as a lot of contrast, a lot about silhouette. Really we're thinking about these hard sharp angles and keeping our little details to the end that really don't want to get in the way. What we've really been trying to focus on this whole time is is keeping it cleanliness, keeping it clean. But what we're also trying to focus on is just getting in here and working out the major shapes first and then kind of coming in and refine, refine, refine. So when you're working on any of your own concepts or your own designs, always think about that as we're going to start with the silhouettes and the things like we did and we're gonna, just going to work it backwards. So as we clean up these little last little bit of details here, I'm really just doing the finite work. But this, is, this last 10% is really what's going to help push us to the next level. So that should be pretty good for this final comp. I've added in a little bit of a, just a red line in the background, just as an accent. But hopefully by this point, you guys should have a pretty nice mech you've rendered, doing your own techniques and just kind of paying attention to different contrasts and lighting.